Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanadar.com and in this video, I am going to show you how to customize the display of your Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge or any of the Samsung flagship device by changing its color temperature, the font, design, font size and rest of the stuff. So let me show you how to do this. So to customize the screen and display of your Samsung Galaxy S7 S7 Edge, what you have to do is first of all go to the settings and here you will find an option called display, just tap on it and then you will find lots of options. The first one is like to slide the uh, brightness level, auto adjustment of the brightness, then there is a useful option called blue light filter. If you turn it on. You can see the blue light is reduced a bit here. What it does exactly that it reduces eye strain by limiting the amount of blue light emitted by the screen. So if you just use it, just turn it on then maybe you are not able to see it but the screen is a bit yellowish now. So this is what you can do if you are going to use your phone for longer time and if you want to read an ebook or something on your device. Then a very nice feature is called screen mode it's adaptive display if you tap on it you can select the color uh, profile right now it's adaptive display and it changes the color range saturation and sharpness depending uh, on the environment and the stuff on the screen automatically another one is emulary cinema if you tap on it you can see it's a bit more uh, bright and having more contrast then there is emulary photo and then basic here is as well and then there is another option called color balance and for that you have to use the adaptive display so if you select the adaptive display and then tap on color balance here you will find three options red green and blue so this is basically the uh, rgb parameter so you can use this slider to change the color balance depending on each color factor here so once you will use it on your device you will find it better maybe you're not able to see the difference when I'm moving the slider but there is a difference so this is another option that you can use to customize the color balance on your Samsung Galaxy S7 S7 Edge or any of the latest Samsung smartphone and then there is a very nice and interesting option called a screen resolution if you are having a Samsung Galaxy A7 inch, you should be knowing that your device comes with a WQHD screen so this is the original resolution of your device but Samsung is also providing two options to reduce screen resolution to either full HD or 720p HD so this is a very nice feature because uh, we all know that the the more is the resolution of the screen the more battery will be consumed so depending on that on your choice you can use either 720p hd or 1080p full hd or if you want then you can use 1440p wqsd the quad hd resolution as well so this is once again a very nice feature and you can use it on your samsung galaxy s7 edge smartphone or s7 or whatever you got and then here is the option for changing the fonts so as you can see here we are having the option called screen zoom so if you just move this slider from small to large you can see that the app icons here are changing in the size so this is the largest here is the medium and then small so depending on your choice you can select it and once again there is font size as well so right now it is in between somewhere between tiny and huge if you just keep moving this slider you can see that the font size is increasing in this part here so this is how you can change the font size on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone and then there is the font style so right now the default font is selected you can change it from this list of available fonts so 
I just keep looking here when I'm changing the font. So here we go with Gothic Bold. Then there is Choco Cookie, Cool Jazz, and Rosemary. And you are also having the option to download some additional fonts. So by default, we're having five different fonts and you can also download some extra fonts to suit your needs. So right now it's Rosemary selected. Let's go back to default. And uh, then we're having few more options. The next one is home screen. So here you can customize the home screen. It's a very basic thing. So I'm not going to tell you about this. Then there is easy mode. What easy mode exactly does that in the standard mode we are having access to all of the features and functionality and if you go to the home screen you can see it's having all the features and everything is there so this is uh, quite good for most of the people but there are a few people who are not so much tech savvy and uh, they will feel it's a bit complicated and confusing to them for them especially for the elderly people you can use the easy mode and if you just activate it by selecting this option you can see that this is how the screen will look when the easy mode is activated so just tap on done and this is the easy mode you can see that lots of widgets are no more available and ipe icons the widgets everything is big in size and you can see you are having the option to add some app icons here as well so basically it's for elderly people like if you're going to give your phone to them to use if you want for just going to gift them this phone so you can customize this screen to them you can provide some basic apps here and some necessary applications here that they will use and then you can add all the favorite contacts here so they don't have to go and uh, wander through all of the options to find what they're looking for so this is also a very nice option and if you want to get rid of it just go to settings display easy mode and just select the standard mode tap on done and everything will be back just like before as you can see here and the next nice feature is icon frames so if you have a look here you can see we are having two types of icons first one is like Twitter and here is Play Store with some frame so the app icon is just this Play Store logo but there is a frame provided as well so if you go to icon frames you will find two options icons only or icon with frames and here you will find a quick demo as well so if I'm selecting icons only just have a look on the Play Store logo and you can see that from Play Store and Google the frames they are removed now so depending on your choice you can select any of these two and customize your screen accordingly and then what we got is always on display it is a very popular and very useful feature of Galaxy S7 S7 edge smartphone what it does exactly this is the always on screen so when the screen is locked it is showing the time date and percentage and if there is any notification then it will appear here as well so this is what always on screen does and it consumes very less battery so if you're sleeping at night or something and you want to check the time you don't need to uh, turn on the screen and see the time and everything so you can see everything here right on the always on display so this is also a very nice feature and you can activate it from here if you want and then there is a night clock if you turn it on it will as it's showing here it will show a clock on the edge screen while the main screen is turned off this feature is especially available in s7 edge and it works on the edge screen and then there is a customization for a status bar if you go here you can select whether you want to see recent notification only or you would like to see all of them and then there is the option to show battery percentage if you turn it off it will just show the battery I cannot the percentage here so this is what you can select as well then there's the screen timeout it's very basic then a screen saver uh, if you turn it on then 
it will show a screen after the screen turns off automatically when the device is charging it's the very same thing and keep a screen turned off so it basically prevents the screen from turning on accidentally while the device is in dark place such as a pocket or a bag so this is actually the pocket mode that is available on most of the android smartphones just the name is change keep screen turned off so these are the options and features that you can use on your Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge or any of the Samsung flagship smartphone to customize the display, the screen, font, brightness and all of the stuff of your device. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. And you can also get in touch with me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook by visiting the links given in the description of this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.